Hi guys, in this vlog, I will show you my quail time routine and I will trace this week for every time I read my Bible. So, stay tuned! So today, I learned from Genesis chapter 18 to 20. So, in 18, the Lord appeared to Abram to promise him and his wife, Sarah, that after a year this day, Sarah will born a child. But Sarah and Abraham laughed. After Lord promised Abraham, he also gave him the information that in the next chapter 19, a judgment will hang upon Sodom and Gomorrah, where Lot and his family is at. And then the Lord rescued Lot but not his wife because she looked back while the Lord said not to. Lot and his daughter live in a cave which serve as a refuge. From Lot's daughters, there comes the descendants of Ammonites and Moabites. And in chapter 20, verse 7, there is a scripture that uh, first time in the Bible that God called someone as the prophet. So, in this verses, God appealed to King of Gerar, who is Abimelech, and he said to him that return Abram's wife to him, for Abram is a prophet. Well, the Saudi Bible knows that Abraham is the first person in the Bible to be designated a prophet. This is important to know and tomorrow I will learn about the birth of Isaac and the sacrifice of Isaac. So today I learn from Genesis 21st to 23 from the birth of Isaac which Isaac is actually born and Abraham sent away Hagar and Ishmael and then God tested Abraham to sacrifice his only son then who is Isaac God prepared himself another sacrifice animal to replace Isaac and then Sarah, Abraham's wife, died in the den of Canaan. Abraham bought a pond for from Hittites and buried his wife in Manre, where in chapter 13, Abraham built an altar to the Lord by the oaks of Manre. And later on, this place became Abraham's descendants property and then Abraham himself, Isaac, Jacob, Rebecca, and Leah would later be laid to rest in this cave also. And tomorrow I will learn about Abraham sent a servant to find Isaac, his son, a wife, and also Abraham his own dad and then Isaac's story will go on. So this is a quiet time I have today. Bobo is sleeping here, so I'm going to start my day and see you tomorrow. After Sarah's death and burial, today I learned from Genesis 24, where Abraham taught eldest servant to find a wife for Isaac. The thing I learned is that his servant need to travel all the way back to Abraham's country and kindred, which is 550 miles or 900 kilometers away and on ancient routes. And that takes probably 21 days to travel. Another thing is that Rebecca, who is Isaac's wife to be, she need to travel back also. So that took her significant faith and we need to recognize that. And then is the story for a servant to find Rebecca 
from where she draw water and gives Abraham's servant and his camel water also. And the marriage in last couple of verses in this chapter and then in chapter 25 flashback on the death of Abraham and and Ishmael and Isaac his sons and and then Rebecca brought two sons who called Esau and Jacob and we will learn more of their story tomorrow and Baba is sleeping here so cozy you <laughs> Today I learned from Genesis chapter 27 when Isaac is old and his eyes are dim that he could not see he called Esau to bless him but because Rebecca, Jacob and Esau's mother said to Jacob to be see his father Isaac so Jacob did it and then Esau was furious. <laughs> because of that, Jacob went to his mother's brother Laban from Canaan to Haran. In the process, he had a dream. Chapter 28, verse 12, he dreamed and behold, there was a ladder set up on earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God were ascending and descending on it where a commentary notes that very interestingly in John chapter 1 verse 51 when Jesus called his disciple Philip he said to him truly truly I say to you you will see heaven opened and angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Jesus referred himself as a ladder linking earth and heaven. And that is the fourth sign for Jesus in the Old Testament, especially in Genesis. And if you are interested more, I will link Dr. Pelson's his teaching where we can foresight Jesus Christ in the beginning of the whole Bible where it is in Genesis in Abraham with his son Isaac all hints in Genesis and it is really fascinating because we can learn from it that Jesus is the beginning I really encourage you to watch that video because that is literally my favorite video I have ever seen so please check it out I will link it in the description down below Bobo is here sleeping and today I learned from Genesis chapter 29 where Jacob married Leah and Rachel by deceiving by her father-in-law Laban, wow, he has just deceived her own brother Esau and then in this chapter he started to deceive from others and after they got married, Rachel and Leah basically compete themselves by bearing children for Jacob and then in this chapter, I learned a lot of meaning from their children. And tomorrow, I will learn from chapter 31. And today, I'm going to end this vlog. And I learned from Genesis 31, where Jacob, after he gained his wealth, he leave her uncle Laban. A return from his father Esau and in next week I will learn about how Jacob meets with his brother Esau after all this year depart from him. That's it for this week's class time vlog. I really hope you can enjoy this time with Lord and see you next time. Bye!